My name is Corey Boatman. I am a biology teacher in Montgomery County Public Schools, and I also coach football at Montgomery Blair High School. I'm Stephanie Hall. I'm Jelani's mom, and I'm here because I am his greatest fan and his greatest supporter. I'm AJ Francis. I play for the Tampa Bay Bucks, and I'm here working in Jelani's camp because it's my boy. I've been boys for a long time. Jordan Reed, tight end for the Washington Redskins. Um, here to help out, you know, the young athletes and uh, try to develop some skills today. Josh Evans, Jacksonville Jaguars, and here to just empower the youth. I've always known what his dream was, and that was to give back and to find a way to energize and excite uh, the kids in our community in particular so that they can just do everything they can to be all that they can be, no matter what it is. And so if that's his dream as his mama, I'm right behind it. J53, you know, I wanted to kind of just be a symbol. Just kind of allows kids to realize, man, it's all, it all comes from inside, from within. It's really a symbol that I want them to remember, remember me, and also remember that, you know, they can do anything that they put their mind to. Sports is life, and in sports you're able to learn about life. You're able to learn about friendships. You're able to learn about, you know, how do I how do I build a character in order for me to not just you know excel on the field, excel on the court, but also to excel through life. Like I said, and I mentioned in the camp last year, I wasn't fortunate enough, you know, to grow up and have NFL players come talk to us, uh, you know, show us the fundamentals. You know, I came from a, a tough part to where it's kind of like, you know, very special selected few made it out. The Ultimate Football Camp is a camp like any other. Uh, we have NFL guys, former collegiate athletes, and even former student athletes of the Council High School come back to empower these kids, to give them values, to give them encouragement just to give them knowledge and wisdom and an experience that they'll never forget. Nothing in this world can be given to you, whether that's school, whether that's your job, whether that's football, whether that's basketball, no matter what you do with your life, you gotta put effort in because you're gonna get out of it what you put into it. You gotta put everything you have into everything that you do or else you won't be successful. We need more successful people in our society. We need more people in our society that are willing to do the work in order to reap the reward. Is it the strength of your fingers overthrowing? Knowing, knowing who I was at a young age and, you know, having, having a strong support system around me, having great friends around me that helped me learn at a young age who I was and what I stood for allowed me to continue on in life in, in a great path. And, you know, I think the sooner people can know their purpose, why they wake up every day and grind, the why behind what they're doing, they'll be able to stay grounded when the hard times come. 
we've been grinding, we've been working, we've been encouraging, and we've been doing everything that we can possibly do for each other on and off the field to make each other great and better every single day. In our group, we've always strived to push each other beyond our limitations and continue to rise and rise and rise uh, to get our to get even past what our potential is at that time. He works hard, man. And a lot of guys that are, that's why I respect him so much because a lot of guys that are as athletic as he is don't feel the need to work as hard because they don't have to. And to Jelani, he still wants to put the work in and that's how I approach every day is you're only as good as you worked. You know, if you didn't get better today, you got worse. So that's the way I approach every day and he does the same way and that's probably why we're good friends. So from afar, I've always been able to see Jelani Jenkins shine um, on and off the field. Through it all, he always uh, was encapsulated in love. And love is indeed the key. And, and he demonstrated more than anybody I know. Jelani's a good guy, man. I mean, he's ugly, but other than that, he's a good guy. Jelani, he's a great athlete, man. Great friend of mine. Um, you know, we grew up together at the University of Florida and things like that. He's a go-getter. You know, he's a guy who, if you don't have the answer, he'll do whatever it takes to find the answer. The fact that he's been able to illuminate what our community and our village does for the upbringing of, of youth, it's a beautiful thing. The legacy I want to leave behind once I do end up leaving the NFL is to show people that it's more than football. You know, it's more than sports. The things that you can use and how you can use your platform, how you can how you can brand yourself outside of that and use those those accomplishments in order to make a big impact on, on life, on the community, on the people around you. Um, that's the most important thing. And you know, I, I would like people to really understand that when they look at me, when they look at the J53, to understand that it's more than it's more than just football.